When you're planning for a trip, the hardest part is always trying to figure out what cameras to bring and also which lenses to bring. We headed out to Niko Tochigi, which is about a three hour drive from Tokyo. It's always nice to get outside the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy the more scenic parts of Japan. We spent the day exploring and just capturing some frames. The shrines of Nikko are actually a world heritage site. We started at the bottom and worked our way up. There's a good amount of stairs. Both Shaman and I were working with pretty similar setups. We used the Mamiya 605 AFD off the bat. These are both medium format film cameras. Surprisingly, there's a lot going on inside the shrines. With so many moving components, it's always fun to figure out how you're gonna frame things. So clean. I mean, number one, we got like five, six different school field trips going on. Man. So, yeah. Representing different schools, yo. Yeah. You think it's on? You think it's on the grades of schools? Uh, maybe the grades, but maybe might, one. School, might be, right? might be one school. Uh, I like yeah. the, the different colors. The colors, right? And then yeah, also, obviously the, the deep reds, the greens in the background, and then you got the, the yellows. The ground fills up all the students, and then you look in the background, just the shrine that stands alone. Bro, you, you can't get better than that, bro. I'm painting a picture out here, dog. Painting a picture. <laughs> this is 28 mil. You think it's a 50 mil or is it more of a 35? It's a 35. 35. <laughs> I mean, the scene definitely dictates what, what focal length you're shooting at. Yeah, yeah, you definitely okay. want to get different elements in there. Trying to get the background in there too. Like yeah, the, the that's it, exactly what I so I used the two people like right in front of us. Mm -hmm. There's like a little gap in the middle where he was talking right in between. So you can see him talking to the students at the shrine in the background. <laughs> Stop oh trying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the. It's camouflage, huh? Oh, it's trendy, fools. Oh, chief. <laughs> So we slowly made our way to the very top, and the top is known as Toshogu Shrine, which is a giant golden shrine. I had seen pictures of this shrine on Google and on Instagram before, prior, but in real life, this was something else. We had our fingers crossed for sunny skies, but unfortunately, it was pretty overcast the whole time. It didn't really do the gold justice on film. With street photography, it's always fun to find cool and unique ways to frame up subjects. Throughout the day, we were just switching in between cameras, our Mamiya's, and then also we both brought Contax G2's. I also brought an Olympus Mu2, a small point-shoot camera. I love taking frames on those as well. This was a pretty cool frame. They were having their photos taken in front of the shrine and it was just really cool to see them all lined up. Throughout the day, we were looking for really vibrant colors, things that popped off from the green forest background, usually yellows and reds of the shrines, anything that really caught our attention. After we finished up at the shrines, we hopped in the car and headed up to Kagon Waterfall, which is just up the road. The setup here is pretty cool. You get inside an elevator and go down through the mountain to the very bottom, where you go through another set of tunnels, which leads you out to the waterfall. 
the tunnel leads you out to this. And yeah, this is a crazy view as well. So yeah, we had a great time exploring Nico. It was fun to use a variety of cameras and a variety of focal lengths to really work on composition and figure out what works in the frame and what doesn't. The focal length of your lens not only dictates how you frame your photos, but really where you are in relation to your subject. When you're working with a 50 or an 80 millimeter lens and it's really punched in, you really have to kind of take a step back and figure out how you're gonna frame your entire scene. In contrast, when you're working with a 35, a 28, or even 20 millimeter lens, you have to get nice and close, nice and tight, and figure out how you're gonna fill the frame from a more close perspective. And that's a lot of fun, figuring out how you're gonna compose, frame, different things. The two styles are very different. So yeah, thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video. Really appreciate it. Shout out to Shimon for helping me shoot this. And if you like this video, please subscribe, turn on post notifications, like the video. If you have any questions on any of the cameras that we use about street photography, focal lengths, anything, just leave it down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks again as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.